Winter weather can be tranquil, a picturesque landscape, but it can also look like this. Here are all the different types of winter weather in our latest Weather IQ. Falling snow has several names. Snow flurries means that just a little snow is falling over a short period of time. A light dusting is the most you'll see. Snow showers can vary in intensity. They are heavier than flurries, but also don't last long. Snow accumulations can range from a coating up to a couple of inches. The heaviest snow bands are called snow squalls. Snow squalls are brief but intense snow showers that accompany gustier winds. Snow accumulations can be significant. These are most common around the Great Lakes during lake effect storms. The term snowstorm brings a combination of snow showers and snow squalls over a longer period of time. Strong winds can blow snow, cause snow drifts, reduce visibilities, and make driving treacherous. A blizzard has a specific criteria though. It must last three hours or longer, have sustained winds or frequent gusts to 35 miles per hour or greater, and considerable falling or blowing snow needs to reduce visibilities to less than a quarter of a mile. But winter isn't all about snow. When snow falls through layers of air that are above freezing, three different things can happen. One, grapple, which is known as soft hail. Two, sleet, which are ice pellets. And three, freezing rain that can cover everything in ice. When freezing rain lasts for several hours, it becomes an ice storm. An ice storm warning means over a quarter inch of ice is possible, where a half inch or more of ice can snap power lines, leading to widespread power outages. An ice storm is the most dangerous winter weather to drive in, and it even makes walking treacherous. And there you have it. You're all now a little bit more winter wise. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.